Okay, I was like literally just going upstairs and there was this really weird noise from downstairs. I'm on my own in the house, Philip has gone out and it sounded like something coming down the chimney. So I came down. I think there might be a bird in the chimney flue. That's the only explanation I can have because there's something tapping on this flue. But that means it, it's still alive. I thought we had something on the top of the chimney. So as soon as Philip gets back, I'm gonna ask him to investigate. And hopefully we can get whatever is in there out. So this bird is making a lot of noise. I just called Philip, he's not gonna be back for another hour. And I just feel too bad, I can't leave this bird in here. So I'm gonna try and save it. I'm very nervous. Philip's explained to me how I can lift the metal pipe of the flue up, and I'm hoping the bird will be able to get out by itself. Um, I don't know what sort of bird it is, how big it is. Okay, wish me luck. Oh. I can't do this, I'm too scared. I think the bird is, I can't lift it, it's too heavy. All right, come on bird. Oh. Yeah, I can't do it, it's super heavy. It's super heavy. I wait, I wait for you, yeah? You prepared gloves? Should we open the windows? Um, yes, yeah. and you're sure it's a bird? Yeah. Okay. You might get scratched. There's a bird. There's a bird. Yeah. Oh my god. Why am I scared? I just told you don't be scared. It's ridiculous. <laughs> You're being scared. scared. Oh no. Oh no, poor baby. I don't wanna. It's a big bird. It's an owl. Yeah, I thought it might be. You need to come closer. <gasps> it's an owl. Oh. Poor owl. I hope she's alright. She looks a little bit um, dazed and confused. Oh, but you, Philip, she's still alive. She's covered in soot. Yeah. Is there like a bird protection company that you can call? Oh, we need to do something with the chimney top because we can't have owls f flying into the chimney. I know. It's, I so, it's so tiny. How can they? Okay, Philip, we can't oh. just leave it there. What do you think? Do you want to take it out? Yeah, but I don't know. Can you, yeah, you have grab to an take owl? It, yeah, you take it by... Well, you've got gloves on. Put your sleeves down there because it could bite you or scratch you. And you need to like pick it up but like where the wings are around its body so it can't flap. <laughs> You're kidding me, I'm, I'm like, that's a huge yeah. bird. I know, but you need to take it out of there, Philip. I don't think you can get out. Or you know what? We could put a towel over it so it isn't frightened. Yes. yes. I feel so bad. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's gonna flap and everything. No, I think if you just gently place it over its head. Yeah. And then you can like lift it out. You have to gently put it around its wing. Yeah. Okay. Have you got it? Oh, well done, Philip. Yeah. Okay, let's take it outside. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. Oh. She flew away. She away. Oh, she's there. Where? She's flying, Where? flying all the way there. Where? Well, it's gone. Okay. She flew all the way. Oh my goodness, it's, I think she's fine. <gasps> oh, well done, Philip. I'm so proud of you. You're my hero. Hmm. You're I'll, the... I'll save her now. Yeah. I feel so bad. We need to do something with the top of the chimney. That must... It's... And there's like a sort of a protective thing, but it's obviously not 
Did they sneak to it or something? I have no idea. I don't know. Is there some owl connoisseurs out there? Can, can they tell us what to do? This week I'm going to make this shower watertight. This shower, which very sadly you can't see on this camera angle. But before this, I have to clean this room. Uh, it's a giant mess. And because there's nothing more beautiful and empowering than watching a young, handsome man performing a job that only decades ago was only accessible to women, I'm going to film this. One of the big takeaways for you guys here is that tiles in a shower don't make the shower watertight. It doesn't matter whether you use green plasterboard or white plasterboard, the watertightness will happen when you put a watertight membrane down, that's what we do, or if you put watertight paint. This is a ridiculously expensive membrane, it does probably exactly the same than the cheaper versions, but it's orange, I don't like that color. I'm going to use Anna's fabric scissors because they are super sharp and they have the same color. That's nice. Uh, I will be told off badly, but I learned something, funny enough, from our dog, Ziggy. When he steals food from a table, despite the fact that he knows that he's observed. And that's also some free wedding advice for you guys. If you do something naughty in your relationship, something that gets you into trouble, you have to compare the reward you get from the transgression with the punishment you will endure. In the case of the dog, for instance, he knows that he will be punished, he will be shouted at. He knows there's no physical punishment, so for him the price to pay is nothing compared to the nice free lunch he gets. And the same here. I use Anna's scissors. She will find out, she will tell me off, I will spend three miserable minutes with her, but at the same time I had a whole day with nice sharp scissors. Now there are two types of glue to stick this to the walls, the membrane. That's just a normal tile glue and it works perfectly for most of it. And then they say to use this special glue for the overlap and for this inner circle here. I think this does exactly the same thing as this glue, but it's 10 times more expensive. This is a two component glue and it comes with instructions. Of course, I do not read instructions. I found out that most products that are two component based, um, you can mix them 50-50. It gives you a estimated 50% chance of doing the right thing. Um, of course, if you are not an expert like me, I would still suggest to read instructions, even though it makes you look like a little girl. Papa, it's not 50-50, it's 121.4. That's exactly what I mean. Now we use this nice and interesting tool, which is called a marouffleur in French, to flatten this out.
I've been putting off tackling the ceiling after discovering the lead distemper paint. It's probably one of the worst jobs I've had to do here. After spending most of the day geared up from head to toe in safety gear, my muscles and skin were definitely in need of a bit of TLC. I'm really happy that this week we are partnering with Foreo Sweden again for this week's ad. I'm minimal when it comes to my skincare routine, but when Foreo Sweden reached out to me with their new UFO3 deep facial hydration device, I was willing to give it a try, especially because it's clinically proven to deeply hydrate skin, increasing skin moisture by 126%. There are five different facial treatments to choose for your skin needs. My favorite treatment is Cool It A Night with olive oil and rejuvenating ginseng. I've been using it before bed. It only takes two minutes, but it's like being transported to a spa. It's super relaxing as the device uses warming hyperinfusion to help absorb the ingredients deep into the skin and the T-sonic pulsations are like a little massage. It's my first time trying out LED therapy. The red wavelengths of light can help boost collagen production and reduce the appearance of wrinkles. I can say my skin feels hydrated, healthy, lovely and smooth after using it. You can use an app for guided treatments, but there's also an offline mode which you can personalize. If you want to treat yourself to a personalized spa experience for your skin, then check out the link in the description for a 21% discount. Somebody send us a present for Benoit and Vincent. I, I don't know why, but it's for you. Thank I think you, it's a bit... Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. And another one from Benoit. Miss, so miss, I think it's really nice, but um, I don't say, I don't know uh, if you deserve it. Faut, faut remer je vous remercie. C'est, euh, mais c'est adorable. Ouais. C'est adorable. Yes. Parce que toi, tu m'as même pas offert de cadeaux. Et c'est les, les, les personnes qui nous regardent qui m'offrent des cadeaux. Those who know you well don't make your presents. Those, those who oui, don't oui, know you oui, make your presents. Oui, mais là, tu parles à Benoît, là. <laughs> Est-ce que ça te donne à réfléchir Thank you, thank you, Eli. Ah, alors ça, je, je suis quelqu'un qui serait pas très partageur là-dessus. Hein. Oh. Ouais, c'est mignon okay. comme tout, c'est adorable. Oh, comme il fait pas, il fait pas chaud ici, ça tombe bien. <rire> Regarde, ah, j'ai une idée. Ah oui, je, le, je vois la lumière de ton tu idée. C'est magnifique. Ouais, ah oui. elle, elle est belle cette idée. Elle même. On a ouais. fait deux dessins. On va faire différemment. Il y a un qui, est, qui était fait par un maître et l'autre par l'élève. Alors je pense que. Et regarde Alors... l'idée, hein. regarde pas l'exécution, le, parce que l'exécution, bien faire, c'est facile, mais. Mais bien faire. Bien faire. Mais bien faire. Bien faire. Oui. Ah, d'accord. C'est l'idée qui compte finalement, c'est pas le dessin. On va faire alors, comme je t'explique, ici on va faire un caisson, mm -hmm. un simple caisson qu'on mettra un autre dessus et ainsi de suite. On va faire des caissons, on va les séparer si tu veux. Et les, bon... les vêtements à Philippe, ils sont où Monsieur, ouais, madame, madame. 95, c'est trop, c'est trop long pour lui. Ah oui Pour ouais, les 5, chemises 50 cm, ça suffit. Hein. Petite taille. Rigolons, rigolons. I'm really looking forward to showing him the drawing. I think he will like it. Ah, ici. Il y a un trou dans le placo. Ah, bizarre ça. Oui, parce que j'utilise des chutes. Ton... Oui, c'est comme les en fait. D'accord. 85, c'est le nom, c'est tous les lavabos sont à 85. <coughs> ça paraît petit, mais je mesurais, c'est l'auteur de, de lavabo que je vis, qu'on a dans les autres pièces. Oui. Euh, c'est. T'as remarqué que tout le monde, tout le monde devient grand. Oui, c'est vrai. vrai. Et euh, je pense que. 90 avec le creux, c'est mieux. C'est mieux. Donc c'est 90. Là, regarde, il, tout le, il, il, le caisson s'arrête là. Tiens. Ça c'est du bois, ça c'est du bois. Et ici, ça. C'est la partie marbre. C'est marbre. marbre. On va faire un truc marbre. marbre comme ça, ouais, plateau. Et puis on rajoute un, euh, on rajoute du marbre comme ça, et ça va être off fleur avec le bois. Ça va être très joli. D'accord. 140. Ça, tu, tu veux prendre la mesure Je ne veux pas qu'après tu viens et tu dis Ah non, regarde, c'est 10 cm trop long. Non, 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 c'est 40, quand même, tu es quand même. Là, tu es capable de ne pas te tromper quand même. Donc on part sur 136. 136. Tu vois Si je ne t'avais pas dit de reprendre la mesure, encore une fois, tu te serais trompé. Heureusement que tu es là. Heureusement que je suis là, parce que lui, il n'aura pas repris la mesure. Oui, il a les mesures. Oui. Tout est très clair, très, très, très clair. Très précise. <rire> Trop, non, des, des mesures ouais. fantastiques. Des... <rire> je vais parler à Benoît pour le sol ici. Qu'est-ce qu'on va faire Parce que j'ai dit c'est tellement pénible et ça m'a pris tellement de temps pour enlever. J'ai essayé de tuer et ça ne marche plus et c'est trop et là, long. Et là, Benoît est arrivé. Et là, Benoît est arrivé et... Now 
we found the good solution. Thank goodness that Benoit has found it and saved me a lot of time, I think. Well, <laughs> Moi, ça, ça m'a pris trois heures, ça t'a pris trois minutes. Non, mais parfois, parfois, même les gens d'un certain âge ont de bonnes idées. Ouais, mais si Benoît n'existait pas, faudrait l'inventer. Ok. Yeah. Merci, Lady Benoît. À tout à l'heure. À tout à l'heure. Mais, 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 mais non, mais non, je ne veux pas. Mmh.